Hey guys, what is up? It is Alex here, bringing you a race review of the 2012 Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Now, lots of people said that this was the race of the season so far. What an amazing race it was. So much action, so many crashes. I said I didn't really want crashes, but they did add to the action in this most definitely. So Lewis Hamilton had the pole position spot ahead of Mark Webber and Lewis Hamilton had absolutely amazing speed to take the pole position spot away from the rest. Webber was second, Vettel was third and then over time we saw a big big problem where Vettel had to slow down on the inlap for lots and lots of problems or lots and lots of reasons people were thinking of why he stopped. And then we found out it was actually a fuel problem where Sebastian Vettel didn't have enough fuel in the car to complete the, or to complete the fuel sample I think it is and that meant he was actually handed a disqualification which meant he ended up at the back of the grid until the morning of the race where they decided he would start from the pit lane after they changed gear ratios so he'd have a better rate. So in the race Hamilton got a good start and Vettel didn't so we saw Kimi Raikkonen jump all the way from fourth on the grid up to second into turn one, Maldonado getting around the outside of Weber two going up to third then some people in the midfield had a little bit of a problem at Turn 1, Nico Hulkenberg, I think Bruno Senna came together as well as a couple of other cars, meaning Senna and Hulkenberg was, Hulkenberg was out of the race completely, Senna having to come back from the back after I think he had to pit again for damage issues. But otherwise it was a pretty clean race up until the first safety car, where in the rain car to Kane was going slowly after it looks like an engine problem, and Nico Rosberg just came flying around the corner into the back of him, started flying over the car, a very, very dangerous accident, but it was really Really, really good to see that they were both okay and obviously a safety car ensued for that which meant that Sebastian Vettel got back to the back of the pack and well he was in the middle of the pack at that point but he had some problems after he came together with Bruno Senna earlier on in the first stint and then having to swir sort of swerve <laughs> to get around um, one of the Toro Rosso drivers he lost a bit more of his front wing so he had to come into the pits that put him back to the back of the field once again and that meant that Sebastian Vettel had it all to do once again. Then the big shock of the race was when Lewis Hamilton retired which looked like an engine problem or some sort which meant Kimi Raikkonen went through to lead the race for the first time in a very very long time I think it was like Bahrain when he since last led but Kimi Raikkonen went to the lead after Hamilton's problems then there was a bit of action a couple of laps later with Sergio Perez Paul De Resta and I think Roman Grosjean and Mark Webber where they were going like four wide into some corners and they came together causing a big big pile up with three of them getting big damage I think Webber was the only one to have terminal damage having to pull out of the race and I was into these couple of complexes here when Perez and Paul De Resta were going side by side into this complex and De Resta went wide coming back onto the track getting into a little bit of a squabble with Roman Grosjean and that ended up with Mark Webber hitting the back of Grosjean's car I think it was and a bit of carnage ensued here and that brought out another safety car which helped Sebastian Vettel once again. He was in fourth position at this point and the leader was still Kimi Raikkonen then from Fernando Alonso then from Jensen Button and Vettel had an amazing race to get up to fourth at that point and he did an absolutely blistering job getting through all the back markers absolutely powering his way through the field having contact at the start but he was definitely very very fast and willing of getting this position and he showed that he was a true racer today this could have been the race that decided the championship for him he could have lost out a lot of points with Alonso going up really really well at the end but he drove the, one of his races of his life and got all the way back up to the front of the grid because at the end there was a bit of a battle between him and Jensen Button at this point Kimi Raikkonen and Alonso had got away but Raikkonen and um, Alonso had definitely, you know, obviously got some enough speed to keep ahead of Vettel but Vettel had a wonderful move near Jensen Button he got round the, I think it was the inside of him going into the end of one of the DRS zones and absolutely got an amazing move and got him some more points in the drivers championship which put him up to third place in the race but really this race was all down to Kimi Raikkonen driving an absolutely amazing race really really well deserved and really really well you know he drove it amazingly well today he kept it out of trouble when others crashed and everything he drove a good race and kept it out of carnage and you know obviously people in the back of the field had a bit of um a bit of problems too but you know at the front it was good good racing by the guys at the front button leaving enough space for Vettel so you know, Vettel got third. So, the winner of this race was Kimi Raikkonen after so much time. Raikkonen had finally won a race. And second was Fernando Alonso. And third was Sebastian Vettel. And what an amazing race by the, all of them on the podium. Great, great races by them. Fourth was Jensen Button. And fifth was Pastor Malnado, showing that he can get to the end of a race if he tries a bit harder. But guys, that is pretty much it for this video. Sorry it wasn't the most in-depth sort of review you will ever see. But guys, hope you'll have a wonderful day. Hope you enjoyed the race. It's been Alex. I'm out here. Bye.